Imagine a human skull carved from pure crystal, its origin shrouded in mystery. Welcome to an enigma that has intrigued historians, archaeologists, and mystery enthusiasts alike, the enigmatic crystal skulls. These are not your average historical artifacts. They are human-sized skulls, meticulously carved out of a single piece of quartz crystal. The craftsmanship is so precise, so intricate, that it boggles the mind. These crystal skulls are alleged to originate from ancient Mesoamerican civilizations, with some claiming they're remnants of the lost city of Atlantis, or even extraterrestrial in nature. The stories associated with these skulls are as varied as they are fascinating. Some speak of ancient civilizations with advanced technologies beyond our comprehension, capable of creating such exquisite artifacts. Others hint at mystical powers, healing properties, and prophetic abilities contained within the crystalline structures. According to legend, there are 13 such skulls scattered around the world, and when united, they hold a power capable of preventing a cataclysmic Earth event. Each skull supposedly represents one of the world's ancient cultures, and their collective wisdom is said to be unleashed when all 13 skulls come together. But here's where the intrigue deepens. Despite the allure of these crystal skulls, their origins are hotly disputed. Many skeptics argue that the skulls are not ancient at all, but rather the work of skilled 19th-century carvers. They claim the skulls are elaborate hoaxes, cleverly designed to deceive and enthrall. These skeptics point to the lack of provenance, the absence of any known archaeological dig site, and the advanced carving techniques as compelling evidence against their ancient origin. So, we're left with an enigma, a series of crystal skulls, their origins shrouded in mystery, their purpose unknown, their authenticity disputed. Are they ancient relics from a bygone civilization possessing mystical and healing properties, or are they an elaborate hoax, a product of skilled craftsmanship designed to deceive? The debate rages on, and the truth remains as elusive as ever. Are these crystal skulls ancient relics of a bygone civilization, or an elaborate hoax? Let's delve deeper. The crystal skulls first surfaced in the 19th century, their origins attributed to the ancient Mesoamerican civilizations. These captivating objects, often crafted from clear or milky quartz, have sparked intrigue for centuries. The skulls, which are life-sized and remarkably detailed, are said to have been discovered in various locations across Central and South America, from Mexico to Peru. It's believed that they were the creations of either the Aztec or Maya civilizations, among others. The Aztecs, who ruled central Mexico from the 14th to the 16th centuries, are renowned for their intricate artwork and carvings, while the Maya, who inhabited the Yucatan Peninsula from as early as 2000 BC, are well known for their advancements in art, architecture, and mathematics. In these societies, Skulls were often used as symbols of death and rebirth, making it plausible that they would create such artifacts. This belief is further supported by the fact that other Mesoamerican artifacts, such as stone statues and pottery, often feature skull imagery. The discovery of the first crystal skull is often attributed to a man named Eugene Boban, a French antiquarian and dealer in pre-Columbian artifacts. Boban is said to have sold a number of these skulls to museums and private collectors in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, further spreading their intrigue. However, not all of these skulls are accounted for. They've been described as having disappeared or vanished, adding to the air of mystery that surrounds them. Some claim they were lost to time, while others speculate they were hidden away due to their supposed mystical powers. It's also worth noting that despite their supposed ancient origins, these skulls first gained significant attention in the Western world during the Victorian era, a time known for its fascination with spiritualism and the occult. This has led some to question whether the skulls were actually ancient artifacts or simply creations designed to appeal to the tastes of the time. Despite these claims, the authenticity of the crystal skulls has been a subject of contention among historians and archaeologists. This uncertainty has intrigued many, and the debate over the true origins of the crystal skulls continues to this day.
From healing powers to prophecies, the crystal skulls are wrapped in a cloak of mysticism and intrigue. These enigmatic artifacts, often associated with ancient Mesoamerican cultures, are steeped in a myriad of claims and beliefs, many of which are as fascinating as they are bewildering. Let's delve into the mystical properties often attributed to these crystal skulls. Many believe that these objects are not mere carvings, but rather powerful tools with the ability to heal and grant spiritual insight. Some recount tales of ailments cured and lives changed after coming into contact with these skulls. These stories paint a picture of the skulls as conduits of unseen energies, capable of promoting physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. But the mysticism surrounding the crystal skulls doesn't stop at healing. Some enthusiasts go as far as to suggest that these artifacts are ancient computers, storing vast amounts of knowledge from a long-lost civilization. According to this belief, the skulls are encoded with wisdom about the universe, the origins of humanity, and the future of our species. They are seen as keys to unlocking profound truths about our existence and our place in the cosmos. Then, there are the prophecies. Many crystal skull enthusiasts connect these artifacts with the end-of-the-world predictions linked to the Maya calendar. They believe that the skulls hold the key to preventing a global catastrophe a belief that gained significant traction in the lead-up to December 21, 2012, a date infamously associated with the so-called Mayan Doomsday. These claims and beliefs, though varied and often controversial, underscore the allure of the crystal skulls. They represent a deep human longing for connection with the past, the mystical, and the unknown. They feed our collective curiosity and our innate desire to uncover secrets and solve mysteries, Yet as fascinating as these claims are, do they hold any weight, or are they mere tales spun around these enigmatic artifacts? As we continue to explore the enigma of the crystal skulls, we'll delve into the arguments for and against their authenticity and attempt to separate fact from fiction. Proponents of the crystal skull's authenticity argue that their intricate details and precision could not have been achieved with the technology available at the time of their supposed creation. Now let's dive deeper into this argument. The design complexity of these crystal skulls is truly mind-boggling. They're not just roughly hewn pieces of quartz, but intricately carved, anatomically correct representations of human skulls, right down to the detachable jaws on some of them. Moreover, they're often made from a single piece of crystal, which requires a level of craftsmanship that's hard to fathom even today. The proponents point out that creating such detailed work would require a deep understanding of human anatomy, an artistic vision, and a mastery of crystal carving techniques. These skills would have been incredibly rare if not non-existent during the supposed time of their creation. Another compelling argument for their authenticity is the complete absence of tool marks. Generally, when an object is carved, it leaves behind evidence of the tools used in the form of microscopic scratches or indentations. However, these crystal skulls are devoid of such marks. This suggests that they were not carved using traditional tools, but rather were shaped and polished over a long period of time, possibly using sand or some other abrasive. Some proponents even suggest that the skulls were not carved at all, but were instead grown or shaped by some mysterious unknown process. This idea, while fascinating, is highly speculative and lacks scientific backing. Furthermore, the crystal used in the skulls is often clear quartz, a material known for its hardness and durability, but also for its difficulty to work with. It's a material that would have been incredibly challenging to shape with the tools available at the time. These arguments present a compelling case for the authenticity of the crystal skulls. They underscore the extraordinary craftsmanship and knowledge that would have been required to create such objects. Still, skeptics remain unconvinced, pointing to a lack of concrete evidence linking the skulls to any known ancient civilization. The mystery of the crystal skulls continues, teetering on the edge of fact and fiction, history and hokum. Skeptics, however, argue that the crystal skulls are nothing more than modern forgeries created for profit or to perpetuate a myth. 
This perspective, while less enchanting than tales of ancient civilizations and mystical powers, holds its own weight in the face of scrutiny. The primary argument against the authenticity of the crystal skulls is the notable lack of provenance. In the world of archaeology, provenance, or the documented history of an artifact, is paramount. It provides an unbroken chain of custody from the time of discovery to the present day. For the crystal skulls, such documentation is conspicuously absent. The majority of these skulls emerged mysteriously in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, with no record of their excavation or original location. This is a glaring red flag for historians and archaeologists alike. Another compelling argument is the results of modern scientific testing. When subjected to microscopic analysis, several of the crystal skulls revealed tool marks consistent with modern, not ancient, carving techniques. Some of these marks indicate the use of rotary wheels and diamond-tipped drills, technology that was not available to pre-Columbian Mesoamerican civilizations. Furthermore, the type of crystal used in the skulls, clear quartz or rock crystal, is found in abundance worldwide. However, there is no historical record of such large-scale, detailed crystal carving in any Mesoamerican culture. This casts further doubt on the claim that the skulls are ancient artifacts. Lastly, skeptics point to the motivations behind the skull's existence. The allure of the mysterious and the unexplained can drive both the creation of forgeries and their acceptance by the public. The crystal skulls, with their enigmatic origins and alleged mystical powers, fit this mold perfectly. They are compelling, they are profitable, and they perpetuate a myth that captures the imagination. Given these conflicting views, the debate over the crystal skulls continues to rage on. Whether they are ancient artifacts or elaborate hoaxes, the crystal skulls undeniably hold a captivating place in our collective consciousness. Despite decades of research and analysis, the crystal skulls remain an enigma, their true origin still a mystery. The debate surrounding the crystal skulls has been a long-standing one, a relentless tug of war between historians, archaeologists, and enthusiasts alike. On one hand, we have the believers, steadfast in their conviction that these crystal skulls are relics from ancient Mesoamerican civilizations, imbued with inexplicable power and steeped in lore. To them, the skulls are a testament to the ingenuity and craft of our ancestors, a marvel that challenges the very limits of our understanding of ancient technology and culture. On the other hand, we have the skeptics, armed with modern science and analytical methodologies, who argue that the crystal skulls are nothing more than elaborate hoaxes. They point to the lack of documented archaeological evidence, the absence of traditional tool marks, and the anachronistic precision of the skulls as proof of their modern origin. To them, these skulls are nothing but products of the 19th century fascination with exotic artifacts and the unscrupulous market that arose to cater to it. Caught in the crossfire of this debate are the skulls themselves, silent and inscrutable, defying easy categorization. Each new study, each fresh analysis, seems only to deepen the mystery rather than resolve it. The radiocarbon dating is inconclusive, the stylistic evidence ambiguous, and the origins of the skulls remain shrouded in uncertainty. The lack of consensus among experts is perhaps the most telling aspect of this debate. Despite the best efforts of science and scholarship, the crystal skulls refuse to yield their secrets, to fit neatly into our narratives of history or hoax. They persist in their enigmatic state, a puzzle that continues to captivate, frustrate, and intrigue. Whether ancient artifacts or elaborate hoax, the crystal skulls continue to captivate and mystify their secrets yet to be fully unveiled. The crystal skulls, shrouded in mystery and intrigue, continue to be a source of fascination, debate, and speculation. From their historical background, we've traced their journey through time, exploring the myths and legends that surround these enigmatic artifacts. We've delved into the varying claims and beliefs, some asserting their ancient origins while others point towards a more recent creation. The case for authenticity and skepticism has been laid bare, each with compelling arguments that fuel the ongoing debate. 
Whether these skulls are ancient artifacts of lost civilizations or the product of elaborate hoaxes, each theory brings its own allure. The allure of knowledge lost in time or the allure of human ingenuity and deception. Yet with no consensus in sight, the crystal skulls remain an unsolved puzzle. Until definitive evidence emerges, the enigma of the crystal skulls remains, a tantalizing mystery that continues to intrigue and captivate.